Jean Luc Picard. I was looking at the new Star Trek First Contact. I got to thinking, you know, I was watching him. I said, boy, you know, it's amazing, man. They can do, it's the year 4000, they can do every fucking thing but cure baldness. <laughs> The Federation cannot do shit with baldness. <laughs> it's amazing. They can cure blindness, but not baldness. Right? They had that, that blind uh, black cat, Jordy, right? And gave him some blue eyes, and you know, he could see. And he turned to the car and said, shit, you still ain't got no hair. <laughs> What you been doing, man? What's the, what's the Federation been doing? <laughs> I've been blind 10 years. You know, I can still, boy, that's a friend. <laughs> that's why, I don't know. Captain Picard, he doesn't move his arms enough when he walks for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too cerebral. That's why I like Kirk, see, more energy. More vitality. Captain Kirk, see, he's a, he's a man of action. You know, he gets bored kind of quick. He'll be on that bridge, you know what I mean? Stars, stars, nothing but fucking stars. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Chekhov. I eat Kipton. Look on the star map, pick out a solar system whose ass we haven't kicked yet. <laughs> but why, Captain? Because that's our five-year mission, Mr. Chekhov. To boldly kick ass where no ass has been kicked before. <laughs> Jim. Jim. <laughs> we can't just go from planet to planet kicking ass, Jim. <laughs> I've got a sick bay full of people. <laughs> because this obsession of yours with kicking ass. You know, I can have you removed. You know that, don't you, Jim? Starfleet regulations gives me the right to remove you, Jim, for abuse of power. Now, calm down there, Bones. Calm down. Now, you know, I listen to you, Bones. I take a little shit from you. <laughs> because you're my friend. We've been through a lot. And I take a little shit from Mr. Spock over there because just between you and I, Spock can kick my ass. <laughs> You're kidding, Jim. <laughs> no, I'm not. I called him a half-breed the other day. <laughs> he threw my ass all over that transporter room. <laughs> I had to act like I was letting him do it. Captain. What is it, Chekhov? Planet Zargon has an ass. <laughs> Good work, Chekhov. Okay, Uhura. Put this through the ship, you know what I mean? And there are these people on the old Enterprise, their job, these men, their whole, whole job was just to walk through the ship. That's all they did every episode. <laughs> audition for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same picture of their shoes and different steps, you know? <laughs> my long stride and here's my on toes, hear me and my hand on toes. <laughs> I guess, man. That's all they did. You know, and every now and then when the captain would speak, they'd listen, right? This is the captain. You know, all turn. <laughs> This is the captain speaking. We're headed to planet Zargon to get some dilithium crystals and hopefully to kick a little ass. <laughs> and when we get to Zargon, we're gonna need a landing party. This landing party is gonna consist of myself, Dr. McCoy, Mr. Spock, and two security men who will probably be killed. <laughs> Your names are not 
not important. <laughs> they won't even be shown at the end of the show. <laughs> Just remember to wear your red shirts. The rest of us will be in blue. Right? Targets played by. They didn't even get credits. It, it, it could have just said targets played by Jim Beam, or, you know, but they didn't even get that, man. Captain Kirk, very, you know, a lot of energy, womanizer, you know, ladies' man, had that gift. Could be anywhere in the galaxy, and yet he would be able to charm him an alien woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's something to be able to go any fucking where in the galaxy. <laughs> Say, yeah, I think I'll do okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But he could do it. Plus, he had this little, some, you know, he had that little thing where he'd take up, he'd grab him by the shoulders and do that little Captain Kirk shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would do that every now and then. Just shake a couple of them into loving him, you know what I mean? <laughs> But he could, but you know, I noticed when I'd watch him, I'd say, shit, man, Captain Kirk, go, he'll hit on anything. He'll hit on any fucking thing, man. <laughs> he would. That's the only problem I had with him, man. He, he'd hit on creatures. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? That, he'd hit on women who had hoses coming out their heads. <laughs> you know, that's where I draw the line, man. <laughs> Not Kirk. They landed on this planet, man. Kirk and with his targets, and and he landed, and they beamed down, and he was trying to make eye contact with this little hose head woman. <laughs> right? She was grotesque. You know? you know, even Bones looked at her and went, "No, Jim, no." 